Hi everyone, I uh, want to show you how to uh, do a Photoshop overlay in GIMP. <clears throat> uh, so if we have a website page that we want to, um, let, let's say we had a page that we were trying to recreate and make it look exactly the same. So we want to do an overlay to check that all of our elements are correctly spaced. So we, we would take a screenshot of the one um, of both the pages that we're trying to to get to match. So let's just, I only have one page, but let's pretend that uh, these are two different ones and I'm taking two screenshots here uh, like that. And I'm going to get the screenshots on my desktop. So I would just click in the corner here for the Mac and do control shift D to get the screenshots up. So <clears throat> this is actually really easy, it goes really quick. All we have to do is uh, grab those two screenshots. I think we can just drag them right in. Um, or, okay, so we can't drag them in, but we can go here and open as layers. Open as layers, um, obviously, will take the two images and put them in their own layers, which is what we want, and it's a convenient way to do that. So I'll go here to uh, desktop, find the last two screenshots that I just took here, which would be these two, and just open those two. And we'll get them here, two different layers, and you can see um, what we want to do now is gr grab one of them. Uh, doesn't really matter which one if we're getting the matching, but just make sure you know let's like we can label them if we want like this is a new site and this is like um, old site so that way we know uh, which one that we're trying to get to look like the other one so you see uh, here we have the opacity bar this is our key here all we have to do is go and uh, lower the opacity a little bit of the page of just one of the layers and then uh, click M so we can move it around. And now we'll just be able to, you can see like it's it's transparent now a little bit so we can just, uh, again we're pretending this is our, our new design that's not necessarily matching the old one yet so we just take this maybe make it a little more transparent. That way we can just take it and compare with the elements on the other page. And obviously these are all exactly the same because we took the screenshots on the same page. But if you're rebuilding a web page, uh, then they probably won't be the same if you're still working on it. So this is a good way for you to compare easily and see what exactly needs to be changed. And, um, or you know, if you have a, a Photoshop document, uh, you can do the overlay in the same way to make it sure that you're getting it right and it also is a good way to make sure you're not missing any small details like font whether the fonts are serif or not or some things that could be hard to uh or could be easy to miss so that's how you do a photoshop overlay in gimp uh, and i hope that helped you so good luck out there